Hey everybody, Rival X Factor here, and today's video is going to be about hip fire, when to use it, when not to use it, why to use it, and about the MP7 laser beam death machine. As you can see here, I've got a laser sight, extended mag, and a scope, which I'll never really use. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of hip fire. Hip fire allows you to be mobile still. Most guns take away that mobility when you scope in. Some do not. So keep that in mind. You're more mobile when you're in hip fire mode. Okay. The second thing with the hip fire is it allows you to shoot faster. When you go to aim down sight like I'm doing right now, there is a small delay to getting that reduced cone of fire. If a guy's in your face, you're getting in his face, sometimes you don't have that extra time, okay? So let's talk about a third thing, why you'd want to use a laser. Lasers reduce your cone of fire for hip fire, okay? If you take a look, my cone of fire just grew because I took it off. The positive of this laser is it blinds people or dazzles them, but the negative is it gives away your position. So if there's an enemy laser around, like shining on my wall, I'm going to have an idea of where the enemy's at, okay? So keep that in mind of when to use your laser and when not to use your laser. All right, so let's take a look. I'm going to turn my laser on, and I'm going to start to go up into this uh, spawn tunnel from our side because I don't have the flag and see what's going on, okay? I just headshot him from hip fire with only five or six bullets, okay? That's the beauty of this gun. It's a hip fire death machine. Some guns are better than others. The M16's okay, FAMAS is pretty good. Some guns are absolutely horrible about hip fire. The only times you wanna use them is when you got the jump on somebody, you know where they're at or they're rushing you and you just got caught in a reload. The next tip I have is keep your cursor, cursor at head level. Learn head levels on these maps and on these platforms, okay? Because the headshot, double tap, they're done. The MP7 with the extended mag allows you to wreck people. The normal gun without extended mag, it's very tough because you've only got 20 or so bullets to work with. You're constantly reloading, okay? A couple more tips I want to talk about in this next clip, so we'll keep it rolling. Another thing about the MP7 is it's the best of the best when it comes to hip fire and the range at which you can do it at, okay? Obviously, uh, rival smack spanning halfway across this point. Uh, and again, you burst fire like in my other videos in five to eight round bursts. And uh, watch how quick this drops him from range. That's it. That's two bursts, and uh, he drops. Again, some weapons are better than others at this. Don't try this with some of the you know support guns, hoping you're going to level eight guys. You're not going to do it because they're not that uh, accurate. But the MP7 is a laser beam death machine. And again, lastly, let's take a look at my laser beam. Uh, another example of when not to use it. You can see my laser on the wall. That's not good. A smart player is going to see that and know exactly where I'm at because lasers make straight lines, okay? A smart player is going to come in and say, wait a minute, angle of incidence equals, equals angle of reflection. That guy is the exact opposite over there's lasers at, okay? So he's going to come dome me in the head, all right? So know when to turn it off and then when to turn it on, okay? If you can keep your laser off that spot and twitch over with muscle memory, good for you. Okay. So in conclusion, we learned that the MP7 is a laser beam death machine from a long range. Most guns aren't this good, so play around with your favorite and see how it works. The laser sight is a must for this gun in this mode. And know what maps this works for. B fight at Bazaar, Metro Station, or Sand Crossing, this gun will do very well no matter what you're doing on that map. Learn when not to use it. Long range fights, just hide gain ground another way and flank them okay so again hip fire death machine it's a great way to get the jump on your player level a couple people before they even realize it then get out again hopefully these tips uh, make you a better and more complete player